I have here one of these cute little handheld generators. So when I turn the crank, this thing generates electricity. See Nicole's video for proof. And in this hand, I have a capacitor. And it's uh, 5 volts, and it's 0 0.172 farads. This is microfarads, so this would come out to 0 0.172 farads. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to turn the crank, which will generate electricity. The electricity will flow into the capacitor. The capacitor stores it as energy. And then I will let go and let the capacitor release the electricity. So now the capacitor is releasing the electricity, driving electricity in here. And this is no longer a generator, but now it's a motor. Motors are just generators run in reverse. Let's do it again. So again, storing electricity, generating electricity, and it's being stored in the capacitor. And then I let go, and now the electricity is flowing out of the capacitor into here, and you see a motor. Great. Let's talk about how much energy is being stored in that capacitor. Well, here's our formula. Um, potential energy of a capacitor is one half times the capacitance times the voltage squared. And we have, um, well, one half, 0 0.172 farads, and times the voltage squared, which is 5 volts squared. And if you work all that out, you get 2.15 joules. So that's how much energy was being stored in the capacitor. Now, one final thing to think about. What's really interesting is when I spin it like this and store the electricity, store the energy in the capacitor, I should say, I would have thought it would spin this way. But that's not what happens. It doesn't spin. I would think that you spin it this way to store the energy, and then it would spin back this way. But no, it keeps, as it releases, when it releases, it spins it in the same direction. Uh, something to think about why, and then see the next video.